Hey guys, it's Miss Simpson here. I'm so excited to share with you today how to print a manatee. We're going to be adding these manatees to our backgrounds that we worked so tediously on. We layered strips of printed and painted paper to create a collage um, water background for our manatee. And I'm going to teach you how to print the manatee using a foam plate. Where last time we used a ceramic tile to print on, today we will be carving into foam. So I'm going to take you through this process step by step. I know that um, you're thinking this looks very hard, but not with Mrs. Stimson. So get ready. Here we go. The first step is we're going to take a stencil. Miss Stimson has pre-prepared a uh, shape of a manatee and I've cut it out so that you can carefully trace around its edges. And this is a great tool for young artists who have a hard time drawing lots of detail. So now that you have traced the shape of the manatee, I would like you to follow along with me and add the details, like the facial features that we're gonna zoom into right now. We're gonna start with the nose area and a smile. I just want you to use soft pencil strokes that are easy to erase and just move very slowly. We can pause this video at any time, okay? We're just gonna take it slowly. So I've added two nose holes. I've added um, a crease right over his nose and now we're adding the eyes. And if you wanna make your manatee unique, you can add different style eyes. You can add more fat rolls. Okay, the more the merrier. All right, I don't know how many of you have actually seen a manatee in real life but they are a very unique creature. They're actually called sea cows as well. Did you know that? I'm gonna add some double chins. And now I'm going to add this line between his flipper and his chest. Now we're moving on to the other flipper. Just carefully trace that line that's already there into the body. Again, if you're using soft pressure, it's easier to erase. Now let's have some fun adding some more chub to our little manatee. Okay, did you know that manatees eat mostly grass? I'm not talking about grass that grows on land. I'm talking about the grass that grows underneath the water. Here we go, we're going to tape our image to a piece of printing foam and this foam is very soft and when we trace over our image with a ballpoint pen which you see here we're going to be actually carving the image into the foam so it's very important that we use a ballpoint pen because there's a little ball in the tip of the pen that rolls around very smoothly okay so we want to Definitely press with firm pressure. We don't want to press too hard or aggressively because we could tear the foam underneath. We don't want tears in the foam. We just want indentations in the foam or little grooves. So you might notice me like going over a line several times just to ensure that we are indeed carving into the foam. So you're going over all your lines and then once you do that, you want to lift up your paper and remove it and then you should see some indentations that are carved into your foam okay you can see that in the light there are smooth areas and then there are indented lowered areas now i know this seems a little bit tedious but we are going to go back with a dull pencil that means a pencil that does not have a sharp point and we are going to broaden or widen the grooves with this dull pencil and this will ensure that when we print we get nice bold outlines okay so now let's get our inking tray ready and we're gonna mix three colors we're ready for the ink we're gonna mix in some blue some white and some black to get kind of um, a unique uh, gray color and this is our brayer a brayer is a special tool that rolls on the ink very popular in the printmaking world. You want to definitely smooth it out evenly across the plate. 
and you should see your outlines are white and then everything else is gray. So the lowered areas will remain white and then the higher areas that we're not carved into will be gray. Now we're ready to press our paper onto the inked surface of our printing plate and we're gonna uh, very firmly and gently massage your paper ensuring that every edge has been pressed down. You can always lift and check just to make sure you're getting enough ink. You can always go back and massage or use a dampened sponge to just intensify your print a little bit more. But you have to be careful because your paper can tear when you're adding water. I think this looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and remove it. And you will see that we have a copy. Printmaking is a copy. And this copy is a mirror image. It is the same image, but it is flipped. Okay, this is why we call it mirror image. Time to cut. Now that you've cut it out, you're going to play with the placement of your manatee. You want to make it unique. You can have him on his tummy. You can have him standing up in the water. Don't forget to add texture to your foam plate. I actually forgot to add these little spots and extra lines onto my printing plate before I printed this one. So make sure you do that. 